Hello, my name is Emma and in today's video I am going to teach you about job interview questions. Specifically, we are going to talk about a type of job interview question called a situational interview question. Situational is quite a large word and um, you know it's nothing to be afraid of if you get this type of question. Um, what we are going to learn today is how to recognize a situational interview question and um, how to answer one, okay? And I'm going to share a whole bunch of tips on the best ways to answer these types of questions. All right, so to get started, I've shown some examples of a situational interview type of question. Um, so let's read these together. The first question, you hear someone making a racist jo joke in your office, what would you do? You disagree with the way your supervisor says to solve a problem, what would you do? You have been placed in charge of a team for a new project. What are your first steps to get the team going? Okay, so I want you to think about these questions and what do they have in common? Okay, if you said that these questions were talking about an imaginary situation or a hypothetical situation, you're correct. When we answer these types of questions, we're talking about something we would do if a situation happened. So this is not based on our experiences. This is based on, um, you know, what we might do if the situation happened to us, okay? Um, so again, there are many different types of interview questions. This is just one type that you might get. And these are just some examples. There are many more examples of situational interview questions. So how do we know these questions are situational interview type questions? Well, there's a couple of key words which can really help you recognize and identify these types of questions. Um, if you hear the word if, if you hear the word would, um, these are really good hints. So for example, um, what would you do? That's a, right there we know, okay, what would you do? It's a situational question. Um, again, what would you do? Another um, common clue or another way we, we can tell that a, a question is situational is they often start with the word you because they want you to imagine yourself in this situation. So for example, you hear someone making a racist joke in the office, or you have been placed in charge of a team for a new project. This hasn't actually happened to you yet, um, so, but this is something that might happen to you in the future at this job. So the interviewer wants to know, if this happened, what would you do, okay? Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at some more examples of situational interview questions. And we're going to do a practice listening activity to help you practice recognizing these types of questions. Okay, so now that you know a little bit more about situational interview questions, let's practice listening for them, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say some different types of interview questions and I want you to decide, are they situational or not? Are they situational or something else, okay? So I want you to take out a piece of paper and get your pen or pencil ready. And I want you to make um, a picture on your paper that looks like this, okay? So you can write one, two, three, four, five, a column for yes and a column for no, okay? And when, so you can pause the video and then when you're ready, you can unpause it and we can begin. Okay, so now that you have your piece of paper and your pencil ready and you've put this on your paper, let's get started. I'm going to say a question and if it's situational, I want you to put a check mark under yes. If it's not situational, I want you to put a check mark under no, okay? And to help you with this, remember, situational questions usually have keywords in them, like if, would, or they might begin with um, a sentence that starts with you, okay? 
So let's, let's practice. Question number one. What would you do if you knew your boss was absolutely wrong about an important work-related issue? Okay, so again, the question is, what would you do if you knew your boss was absolutely wrong about an important work-related issue? So which one do you think? Do you think it's situational or not situational? This question is a situational question, okay? How do we know? Well, I said, what would you do? So this question is an imagination question. You're not talking about your past experience. You're talking about um, if this happened hypothetically, I would do this. So it hasn't happened. It's something um, you imagine in your head that you would do. Okay, question number two. Tell me about a time when you made an unpopular decision at work. Tell me about a time when you made an unpopular decision at work. Okay, so what do you think? Is this a situational question? This one is not a situational question. This is a different type of interview question, okay? We didn't hear the words if, we didn't hear what would you do, and we're not asking you to imagine what you would do. We're actually asking for a past experience. So this is not a situational question. All right, question number three. If you found out an employee was stealing from the business, how would you talk to this employee? What would you say to this employee? Okay, so if you found out an employee was stealing from the business, what would you say to this employee? All right, so think about it. Is it situational or not situational? Well, we said the word would. We said, um, and we also said the word if. If you found out an employee was stealing, how would you talk to the employee? Okay, so we use the words if and would. So, situational. All right, the next question. Why do you want to work for our company? Why do you want to work for our company? So this question, is it situational? No, it's not situational. This you're just talking about um, your reasons for wanting to work for a company. You're not talking about, um, you're not really pretending or imagining a situation. You're just talking about what you like about the company and why you want to work there. Okay, and the last question. Imagine you have a deadline and you are running out of time, what would you do? So imagine you have a deadline and you are running out of time, what would you do? Okay, so I think you probably heard this word, would, what would you do? So that again, oh, what would you do? Situational, okay? So again, listening for keywords is very important during an interview because they help you to decide what um, and how you're going to answer the question and what the interviewer, um, how the interviewer wants you to answer a question, okay? So we've looked at some examples of situational interview questions and there's many different ones and many different types. Um, now what we are going to do is we are going to practice answering a situational question. Okay, so we've learned about how to identify um, situational interview questions. So now let's practice answering situational interview questions, okay? So I have here an example of a situational interview question. And again, there's many different examples and depending on your work, you might see different types. Um, but imagine uh, you're applying to be the leader or the supervisor at a company, okay? You are the team leader for a new project. What are your first steps to get the team going? Okay, so again, this is an imaginary situation. Um, you haven't gotten the job yet. Um, so this is more about what you would do in the future or like if you could imagine this, what would you do? So how do we answer a question like this? Well, you have to say, first off, what you would do. And then you can also, if you want, talk about why would you do it? 
okay? You can give some reasons if you, if you want to, um, but the most important thing is to talk about what you would do. So don't talk about past experiences, don't talk about, um, you know, what your friend Paul would do. Talk about what you would do in this situation. Um, and also, very important, be specific, okay? Very important. So, um, I have here two example answers, and I want you to think about which is the better answer. So you are the team leader for a new project. What are your first steps to get the team going? First uh, answer is, I would make sure we work together. And the second answer is, firstly, I would meet with my team and find out what people's areas of expertise were. Next, I would provide a clear timeline for the team and discuss our goals. So which, which answer do you think is the better one? In this case, the second answer is the better one. Why? Because first of all, we gave a lot more detail. We were more specific, okay? And that's what's very important in these types of questions. You want to um, give a couple of examples in your answer. Firstly, next, okay? So we're giving multiple things we would do. Um, and if you want, you can talk about why you would do them. Why do you think this is important? Um, and for question number one, I would make sure we work together. That's too short of an answer. You're not really giving much detail and you're not really explaining how would you make sure you work together, okay? Um, that's what they really want to see. They want to see specific steps, like what will you do um, specifically, okay? Um, so again, um, these questions, a lot of students get really nervous about them. But if you really take your time and you think about it, they're, they're not that um, difficult once you actually know what the interviewer is looking for, okay? So be specific. And a lot of the times you're pretty much either solving a problem or you're talking about maybe um, how you would make an ethical decision, okay? So once you see a lot of these types of questions, you start to notice a pattern and they become a lot less scary. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to look at some common tips that can help you with these questions. Okay, so how can you best answer a situational interview question? Well, number one, which is probably one of the most important things to know, is you really need to listen carefully to the question. One of the biggest complaints interviewers have is that um, the person who's doing the interview doesn't know what the question is and answers a different question, okay? So you always want to answer the question the interviewer is asking you. So you must listen very carefully and that's why it's so important to get used to recognizing situational questions um, because it helps you to understand what the interviewer is looking for in their answer, okay? Or in your answer, okay? So listen very carefully and answer what the interviewer asks you, okay? Um, now for a lot of students or people who are learning English, this can be really hard because, you know, listening is, is a tough skill. It's difficult sometimes to listen, um, especially when it's not your own language. So um, what you can always do is if the interviewer asks you a question and you just have no idea what the interviewer asked, ask them to repeat it. Okay, you can say, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you please repeat the question? This is better than just, you know, answering something else, okay? Now, of course, you don't want to say this for every question in the interview. I ideally, that, you know, that would not be good. But every once in a while, if you don't understand the question, you can ask them to repeat the question, okay? And again, listen for the key words. If you hear the word if, what would you do? Um, you are the you know, uh, head of a newspaper company. Anything like this, you know it's a situational type question, so you know how to respond, okay? Um, my next tip is about grammar. Situational questions are imaginary questions, they're hypothetical questions. Um, they're not based in the past. They're more based in, um, possibly the future, but you know, we don't know if this will happen. 
So your answer um, often will have would in it, okay? So if somebody says to you, what would you do if, um, you know, uh, someone in your company was stealing? Your answer could start with, I would, and then you have a verb, okay? So for example, um, if someone in my company was stealing, I would report them to, um, you know, human resources, or I would, um, you know, I would talk to them and maybe find out more information. I would, okay, so the key here is um, grammar. We often use I would in our answer to these questions. Um, so here's another example. Um, you know, if you had a lot of um, projects all at the same time, what would you do? I would complete the hardest project first, or I would start with the easiest project to get the ball rolling, okay? So a lot of the times, this is the type of grammar we're using here. Um, but that being said, the most important thing is not usually, like English is important, but your ideas are what's the most important thing, okay? So if your English is not perfect, it's okay. Okay, my English is not perfect. Nobody's English is perfect. Um, so it's okay if you make some English mistakes. The most important thing is um, that you have good ideas. Okay, so try your best with your English, but again, the ideas are what's the most important thing. Okay, organizers. Um, these can really help organize your answer. Okay, a lot of the times for situational questions, you wanna give a couple of examples of what you would do. So this can be a reminder to you. First of all, I would blah, blah, blah. Secondly, I would do this. Finally, I would do this because of this. Okay, so we often use these to organize our answers. You can also use next, then, after that, um, first of all. So these, there are many different organizers, but they really help the listener to understand your ideas uh, more clearly. Um, okay, another tip, and this is also a very important tip, prepare before the interview. One of the most common mistakes I see um, for both students, for people who are learning English, and for people who are not learning English, who speak English as their first language, is that they don't prepare for interviews, okay? They go, to the interview, they're very happy, they have an interview, but they don't do any preparation. So then they get these types of questions and they don't know how to answer them. And they get really stressed out and they panic and you know they answer a different question maybe because they don't know what they should say. If you prepare and if you practice, you're going to do a lot better on your interview and you're going to feel more confident during your interview, okay? So it's very important to prepare before the interview. Um, be specific. Uh, you know, they, they want to know specifically what you would do, okay? So think about it, think carefully, and then say something specific that you would do. You know, how would you um, deal with an, a coworker um, who, you know, wasn't nice to customers? How would you um, deal with a boss who was very difficult, okay? What specifically would you do? Give details. Um, okay, number seven is again a very important tip. Practice makes perfect. When you first start doing situational interview questions, they can be very difficult, but the more you practice, the easier they get, okay? So, um, you know, they become very clear. You can start to um, think about different situations. Practice makes perfect, and it's very important for situational interview questions to practice, practice, practice. So how can you practice? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. There are many ways to practice. Um, we have a lot of resources at our, at our website, www.ingvid.com. You can find the link to some of these resources in our description. We have resources for um, situational interview questions where you can actually see more examples and you can use that to practice maybe with a friend or your family or um, you know your dog so you can uh, maybe your dog's not the best partner but yes you can practice these types of questions 
Um, we have resources for other type of interview questions. There are behavioral interview questions. There are standard interview questions. We have a lot of resources on the different types of interview questions. So I highly recommend you practice these before your interview and you think about your experiences and your answers, okay? Um, you can also take our quiz at www.ingvid.com. We have a quiz on the video that you've just watched. You can, um, you know, practice more and, and practice even the English that you might have learned from this video. Um, you can also subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of videos on vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, all sorts of different things, and that can also help you prepare for your interview. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, oh, okay, and I already talked about other types of questions. Good. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it, and until next time, take care.